Hey there everybody, so Heroic Legend here, and we are back to I Am Setsuna. We're going into Nai Village now to complete our task that we were given from the previous episode. There is a red-haired man, which- uh, And you have a name, that obviously makes you important. You are Raishin. Welcome, traveler, I am Raishin. I live here in this village. Beautiful scenery, warm people, it's a wonderful place, this village. Please, stay as long as you like. You know, I'm not super- oh, no, I got an achievement. I'm not super thrilled with the, a village, or with a prospect of the village that needs to sacrifice people to continue. I will talk to you again, though, maybe you have something important. We're about to hold the departure ceremony for the sacrifice- Yeah, you just say that so casually, my dude, I'm not comfortable with that. My own daughter's the one who will take on the support- That makes it worse! Suppose this, too, is fate- No, it's not! Hello, Antler Snowman. Stern-faced old woman. That little busybody says she's she's worried about me. Sacrifice should have enough to work, have enough on her plate without worrying about other people. Um, you're upset about her worrying about you. You're an old bat. What's in here? Free loot. That's what's in here. Eh, we have Athenian water. Revives a knocked. Oh, okay. Thank you for providing me with this for free game. Uh, hey, have you been to Falling Snow Monument? Apparently, it's just through the Dajir Woods near the village. There are monsters in the woods, though, so I've never been. What about you? The girl who has been chosen to sacrifice is 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 ever such a. Who says that? As sacrificed is ever such a kind young lady. She often goes to the Falling Stone Monument to pray to the past sacrifices. Where's this Falling Stone Monument? Just past the Dyer Woods. Oh dear. She's so kind, so beautiful, she's absolutely perfect. That's precisely why I think she's perfect for me. But now she's been chosen as a sacrifice, I guess I'll just have to try and forget about her. I'm growing to not like these people. I'm also gonna need that thief's key so I can unlock everything. If it is a thief's key, I didn't cheat. I'm not looking up anything unless I get super freaking stuck. It's just a random guess because of Dragon Warrior. That's the joke. I just beat it. I can make the joke. Today is a perfect day for celebration. Of celebration, the sacrifice will be departing on her pilgrimage. Reminds me of the day I saw my wife off. Oh, I, I'm not comfortable with this. After she gave birth to my dad, my grandmother left here as part of the sacrifice's guard. Young or old, man or woman, anyone can join the guard if they've got what it takes. Dude, you got a tough grandma! <clears throat> no, I'm legit though, that's, that's kind of awesome. His grandma was so tough that after giving birth, she said, I right, bye, I'm gonna go guard the sacrifice. The departure ceremony will begin soon. We'll soon begin. A journey of a sacrifice made to appease the savage monsters. It's custom that it's a custom that's been practiced in this village for a long, long time. Hmm. I don't mind the cold at all. One day I'll be strong enough to protect someone, like the lady in the sacrifice's guard. Um Real quick, I need to go test check something. Just one moment. Sorry, sorry. Uh, oh, oopsie. I just needed to check to make sure the previous episode was uh, properly recorded. That's all. Uh, I already went in this house. I think I've talked to just about everyone. I've always thought that all monsters came here from the mainland, but that isn't the case anymore. I appear as if from nowhere, and their numbers grow greater by the day. Sounds like you need a mercenary. I would gladly accept any and all payments. I passed through this village on my travels, and I took a liking to it. I ended up staying here, but the villagers still aren't friendly towards me. I wish there was some way I could win their trust. I can't tell anyone where Setsuna went. I promise I'd keep it a secret. I just could tell you. 
once she gets back from Falling Stone Monument, though. So now I know she's there. Thanks, kid. Ah, children. Her mother and her aunt, too. I saw them off just like this, too. We were powerless to do anything else. Even if it's for everyone's sake, surely this is too much grief for one family to bear. Her mother and daughter. Mother and daughter, both setting off as a sacrifice. Fate is a strange one indeed. We must at least make her some of that arctic cauliflower soup she loves so much. Okay, so we have like nice old people who are like, this is messed up. But they can't do much to stop it. Hello. The apothecary. Potions, ether, antidote, crescent grass, smelling salts, the Athenian water, the tent. I'm actually going to buy five more tents. Because I know me. Uh, two, 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 two. And that'll be it. Yeah, one potion just to round me out. This is advice. Tempering items. Along the course of your journey, you will sometimes come across special metals. By obtaining these metals with your wep with your weapons. Oh, wait, we obtained it with weapons? What? It's possible to raise your stats. You can do this from the weapons menu. As you progress through the game, you will also be able to purchase these metals from Weppy and Tallies. So, can I... Strengthen? Oh, dang. I was, I was really excited for that, man. <laughs> what do you have to say? The monster... Round-faced man. Yes, you are very round-faced. Well, I've become much more ferocious lately. Even just getting through the Dashar woods to the northeast is hard going these days. Hard going? Wouldn't you say difficult to, tr to traverse to? I've almost talked to everyone. Oh, I have talked to everyone now. All right. Uh, oh no, wait. You just look like the other woman. Part of ceremony will begin soon. Journey of the sacrifice made to appease savage monsters. It's a custom that's been practiced in this village for a long, long time. You know. Uh, okay, now that's just backwards. If it was a deity type thing, I could kind of see it, and and this is the exact reason why. If you appease monsters by throwing a sacrifice at your village from your village, who's to say that the monsters are gonna not get greedy one day and be like, we want more? And then what? You, your village numbers are already small. I don't know. I, I, I take issue with that. I personally take issue with that. I'm not sure if Setsuna... Well, Setsuna. If Endir takes issue with that, but I do. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! That's a bit good. Ah, slaps. Alright, I'll, I'll take the hit. I wanna, I wanna try and get him with a, yeah, just like that momentum kill. Bloody, An unknown shell. Is that what we obtained from him? I'm not gonna do this every time. It's just I'll I'll save the looking up of stuff for the end of the episode. I'm just really curious. Okay, so that does turn up like that. So I wonder what a light kill is. It's locked. Every one of these dang chests is locked. Why are they even out here? I'm gonna get a thief at one point. I'm gonna have to go back. And challenge. You know, those might be relating to the element, actually. Hengi's treasure. I received that the first time I fought them. But you know what? We are going to check that out later. At the end of the episode. I'll, I'll try to do that as in the end of the, end of the episode thing. Hello. Now fight! I don't know what you are, my guy. I'm actually going to try to knock him backwards a bit. I wonder if I can knock him into terrain and that, if that'll do damage. That is a super slap. Wow. Yes. And that was enough. We got the momentum kill on whatever that was. 
Slippery hide in a pale blue gem. Interesting. I wonder if we got the gem from the momentum. Are there two ways to go? No, that's a wall. Okay, that's a wall. They wouldn't do that to me so early. Um... Took off one quarter of my health so far, but I, I should still be fine. Yeah, I'm, I was using Cyclone because it was a. There were two of them. Crap, now I'm being flanked. I wonder if that actually does anything. Okay, you have your focus up. You have earned my, my ire. What about you, buddy? You can go the same way as your buddy? Yes, you are. I really like the momentum uh, mechanic. I, I really do. It, it's to me, it's really. It adds a lot. It adds a little bit more strategy to what you're doing. Okay, I can dip off that. I can dip off that. So let's not do that. I wonder if monsters respawn too. That's my question. I might be able to just run past them all. But since they are on the map, it makes me believe that they do respawn, even if it's just when I go back in the area. So I might make grinding a little bit harder. Um... I should still be fine even if I do get into a boss fight. If I if I take too much damage at one point, though, I will just use a potion. So, I'll... I'll be... I feel like I'll be fine. Just want to save right there for just in case. Well. Here's what I'm tasked with. I lore walked there, by the way. I don't think the game controlled me. Well, Mom, I'll be leaving soon. I'm going to give everything I've got. I'm going to give this everything I've got. I hope you can keep watching over me until the end. Who are you? Young lady, the first thing you should do when a man walks up to you and draws a sword is either draw your own sword or get help. The get help is only if you don't have your own sword. Unless you know how to fight and you think you can take him. But you don't ask who are you. That loses you like an arm or gets you killed. Um... I came here to find you. A sword in your hands. I don't know why, but it seems you're after my life. I am the sacrifice. I was chosen to give my life in the last lands. Just like the past sacrifices whose names are engraved upon this monument. That's why I cannot let you take my life now. Even if you do not kill me, my life will end soon enough. My journey comes to an end, so too will my life. Oh dear. I'm not gonna swing my sword. She has a point. And I'm a mercenary. It's up to me to interpret how my employer's words were said. He never made it specific. He said, "Kill her." I can always kill her. Eric will take. I'm a. I'm. Eh. No, there's no real loophole there. He told. He told me to kill her. I am. I am Setsuna, and you are. Oh. <laughs> Setsuna, are you all right? Thank goodness we made it in time. <clears throat> I'm sure you're very skilled indeed. Have you ever taken on two magic users at once, I wonder? I should protect such an even if it cost me my life. <laughs> Who am I? 
Hey, stop dreaming and pull yourself together. We're the ones who want to know who you are. You were put to sleep and carried back here. Ow. Hey, come on, give it up. There's no way you'll be able to move. You've got magical energy. You have two magical users for training you, you know. What the? Looks like you're no pushover, eh? Whew, you're just in time. Er, what was it again? We've been here for two weeks now. Isn't time you remember my name? I'm... Eternia. Got it? Sorry, Eternia. Never mind that. The look! What? How come he can get up? I've heard stories. A mass tribe who make their living as mercenaries. You're one of them, aren't you? Why did you try and kill Setsuna? Who hired you? For generations, sacrifices from the village have given their lives in order to protect the world. You tried to kill one of those precious sacrifices. Do you even understand just how serious a crime that is? I don't care. I'm a mercenary. And plus, why do you guys care? You're literally gonna sacrifice her. She's gonna die anyways. It's answer the, just the answer you'd expect from a mercenary. Only interested in what you need to know. To you, the truth is meaningless. I will protect Setsuna. I won't let anyone I won't let you touch her, no matter what. You stay lying right there. Uh oh, you've made her mad. It's the guillotine for you, I'm afraid. Come on, at least act like you care. Talk about motionless. Anyway, I'm kidding. You don't even have a guillotine here in the village. You got pretty lucky, though. Several of the villagers did actually insist that you'd be severely punished. The reason you're still alive now is you had someone defend you. You know who that was? The sacrifice? Well, I am surprised. Exactly right. You're a sharp guy. It was Setsuna who protected you. The sacrifice herself asking us to spare you, no one could exactly argue. What a curious young lady she is. Saving the life of the very same person who tried to kill her. Once Setsuna is safely on her way, we'll let you go. It's the village chief ended up promising her, you see. Anyway, until then, you can stay right there. Right here. W what? It's the monsters! The monsters are attacking again! What? Forget about that house. The only person in there is the guy who tried to kill the sacrifice. N no but still. Come on, we need to hurry up and get all the villagers to safety. Ugh, sorry, don't hold it against me, alright? Assholes! Can't say much. Sorry, too Why are you here? I'll take care of things, don't worry. You get out of here. Well, now I just don't know how to feel. Setsuna, what are you planning on doing with him? Letting him go. <laughs> what do you mean? You can't just set a criminal free. He has yet to commit any crime. We can't leave him here to die. Oh, I've already killed one of those. Ugh, why now? Alright, if you want to live, draw your sword and help protect Setsuna. Now I'm gonna let you take a hit. God, you're weak. Oh wait, maybe she has, um... Wow, she definitely... Oh! Near the target. Okay, so this is exactly what they were talking about then, I guess. Combo. Or X Strike. We're gonna go with X Strike. Bloody. That's the Link skill. Kill. Slippery hide and stinging seaweed. Ew. We get rid of the rest of these monsters. You help too! You know what? Uh, considering I would have been left there and the monster probably would have just come in and eaten me, I'll agree. Just this once. 
Hmm, good, at least you're not arguing back. Anyway, I'm afraid saying no isn't an option. I'll help too! No, you stay hidden, Setsuna. But don't worry, it's fine. I'm going to protect you. Let's go! You try and run, I'll kill you, so watch your back! Do you. <laughs> oh! I don't have 15 MP! No! Yeah, I'll take those slaps. And you down yet? No, you're not. Save your momentum for... This. That's extra damage. I missed my momentum, but it still counts as a kill. Okay, that's interesting. Alright. I do... Remember how oh I'm about to level up. I think I my MP heals when I level up, I think. It's another flipper boy with a penguin, so I'm actually gonna cyclone the Walumpa? I forgot to press X. I forgot to press X again! Maybe I can't press X? Oh, I have to press it during the attack. Exact kill and time kill and- Oh my goodness, that was so many kills! Iron Snow Sand... Alpharus for Root and a Pale Gem. Okay, so the Pale Gem must be from that. Oh. Yeah, my MP and my HP is healed. Okay, so what? So that's that's actually really good. I'm, I'm thankfully kept that. Oh my goodness. Can we combo them right now? It seems like we can. Link kill. Okay. He dove right at him. Hi. Uh, actually. There we go. Alright, so we are... I'm not sure how much more of the village we have to clear out. Large Feather Crest, we get a lot of items. I get the feeling that upgrading stuff is going to be... Im super important here. It's the last of them. Phew, seems there was no real damage to the village either. Oh no, indeed. <laughs> well, looks like the headline act is here. Can you still fight? Of course. I am tough. Hmm, <laughs> glad to hear it. Get yourself ready. This one isn't like the others. Being a little tired is no excuse either. Well, then why do you get... We must protect Setsuna, even if it costs us our lives. Don't say that. Oh, we'll restore. <laughs> Setsuna. Thank you. Now I don't have to worry about anything except fighting. I don't want you risking your lives. I'm going to fight too. What are you talking about, Setsuna? I'll protect you, so just... That's right, Eternia. I need you to protect me. Exactly, so... So if you die here, will you... how will you be able to do that? In order for you to be able to protect me, Eternia, I need you to... Pro... I need... Right now, I need to protect you. Don't be ridiculous. I've made up my mind. It's like nothing I say is going to cha make any difference. Just promise you you'll run away if it gets too dangerous. I will, together with you. Oh. Well, we're fully healed now. This episode's also gonna be longer than I expected. Well, that's gonna be an ow. Each of us have this. So, we're gonna actually... Wait to X strike. That's not good. Oh, we both need to have one for that. Okay. She has cure, so. She does a ranged attack. That's actually a bit important for me to. That's actually really important to know. Okay. You're gonna charge him. I missed my timing! See if we can knock him back. 
That's a lot of damage. Can't knock him back. So he's just the big boss for this fucking move. Uh, he needs the help. You're gonna attack. You missed. But it. But we took damage. Yes. Hi. And there we go. Don't worry, I'm not gonna die here. Get back to so, so you are talking here, okay. You get healed. We're all set there. Ooh, slice. That's actually a lot of damage to the two of us. Um yes. I'm actually gonna have I'm gonna attack, but I'm gonna have her use her cure. Oh dear. I'm gonna have her use her cure with the momentum on herself. She actually got an attack boost from that. I think. Okay, you're actually gonna use a potion on me. That's not a small amount, guys. Okay, I'm gonna wait so we both have a, a point. I'm not a fan of you. We're gonna try X striking with momentum. We got the momentum and the link kill! Nice! Damn. Don't bother trying to resist. We can't let you go until we decide what to do with you. Murder of a sacrifice is a very grave crime. Even if it was only an attempted murder, we can't just let you walk. The reason you're even alive now, rather than inside a monster's stomach, is that the sacrifice sacrifices keep the monsters at bay and stop them from becoming ferocious. If it wasn't for them, everyone would have been overrun by monsters a long, long time ago. You almost doomed all mankind to certain death. That's really not my problem. If you guys can't fight, that's your fault. No, of course it isn't. You're welcome to live out your life in your own narrow little world. Just as long as you don't get in Setsuna's way, that is. If you're still thinking about trying something, you'll have me to deal with. You don't seem like that big of a threat. There's no way you could possibly understand. The ritual of the sacrifice is repeated over and over again in order to bring us f into the future. Ah! You're all safe! Thank goodness! I heard what happened. You fought off the monsters that attacked our village, did you not? For anything else, let me thank you on behalf of everyone in the village. Now, with regards to what we shall do about you, truth be told, I too am at a loss. He needs to be kept restrained until the sacrifice is set off from the village. Yes, better safe than sorry, I suppose. Please wait. What is it, Setsuna? I'm the one who, who he tried to kill. Please hear me out. I want you to make him a free man. Let him go, you mean? No, not quite. I'd like him to join my guard. We can't do that. He's too dangerous. If he's so skilled that you think he's dangerous, surely he'll make a very reliable companion. A sacrificial pilgrimage is not an easy journey. The more people we have on our side, the better. Right? No matter what you say, I'm still against it. We'd be putting ourselves close to a man who's even more dangerous than the monsters. If it's my life you're after, then please see the pilgrimage through to its end. If I complete my duty as a sacrifice, that should fulfill your goal, too. My death. So, what say you? In light of having protected our village from the monsters, we shall respect your decision. Will you remain here in the village until Setsuna departs on her pilgrimage? Or will you leave on her journey together with her as part of her guard? There's still time until their departure. Would you have made up your mind? Come to my house. Mine is the northmost house in the village. I'll be shielded. I should be looking forward to hearing your reply. Well, old man, that reply is going to have to wait. Because we are going to save. Well, after we... Still none. Dang it. 
So, we're gonna go into the Snow Chronicles real quick. I do want to make this a little bit of a staple of the episodes. Whenever you see new creatures or creatures that where we've unlocked things from creatures, I would like to look at what they've dropped and what their stuff is. So, from the exact kill, we got the Sturdy Sheet. We know this now. From the time kill, we got a miniature Cherry Root. The Momentum kill, we got an Unknown Shell. And the Link kill, we got a Large Leaf. The Walumpa is this big guy that we fought who has a slap. A rotund beast that has built up its blubber reserves is well reserved to the point of obesity. It moves incredibly slowly, but is also incredibly powerful. One example of this power can be seen in its super slap. Although its principle is although it's in principle no different from its attacks used by the Pengi species and the like, its creatures the creature strength combined with its immense weight creates a knockout blow. Similarly, it can use a simple jump to generate a tremor that causes damage to all foes. Will drop iron snow sand if defeated with with exact kill. Its normal drop is a slippery hide, its exact kill is an iron snow sand. The momentum kill, like I thought, was a pale blue gem while its link kills a stinging seaweed, and the time kill is Alphilus. Al it's a fur root. White Wind, a gigantic airborne monster, attacked the Knife Village. The creature flies through the stratosphere, swooping down to the earth at incredible speed with its, wi with its wind of prey. When it gets wind of prey. Oops. It is responsible for the destruction of countless villages. It attacks by taking in deep breaths, consumed, combusting the inhaled oxygen internally, and then releasing it as a burning breath. Furthermore, this attack is used when oxygen is only partially combusted, and when fully combusted, the creature can unleash the truly fearsome blazing breath. Okay. Its normal drop is a giant feather. I've, I, we didn't overkill it or exact kill it, but we did momentum kill, which got us the giant egg and wind feather from the link kill. Interesting. So, you know, Setsuna has the ritual chakra. Again, I'll pause for a bit to let you read this. Oh, you can always pause the video itself, which I might start doing because I can read this whenever. You guys have a video which you would want to probably see end or have an end. Ooh, Azoth Dagger. That's actually interesting. Alright. Dawn Amulets. This has no bonus effect so far. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> she knows cure. Interesting. That's what a time kill is. Okay, so we got the time kill thanks to Eternia. Interesting. Yeah, we already know about the ATB boost, which we got when we used Cure. Yeah, we, we know this. We got these from the Walumpa, from the Pengis, from the Jabus, the White Wind. Alright. So, with that being said, I want to thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, please leave a like on the video itself. Subscribe to the channel for similar content. Leave a like on this video or share with a friend or two. And, if you're really interested in this content, go check out the playlist, which is going to be started up basically today. It's, the, it's going to be updated basically every Monday, if I can. I say if I can because I've been getting sick as of late and I've been having dentist appointments all across the map, but I'm almost done with those. You know, so that's, that's lovely. But yeah. Uh, I really do want to make the Snow Chronicles if we get anything new um, at the end of the episode so we can see what we've got. Occasionally maybe going into them throughout the playthrough. But yeah, that's that's gonna be it. 
Um, but once again, big thank you all for watching, and laters.